Check it out, folks. Your boy AB got y'all. Listen, you want to know how to make a juicy chicken or even a turkey? Let's get it. Now, I want you guys to pay attention right here. Look at my board right here. Oh, I got to put this over here. If I put this right here, this is all you need. Let's get it. Okay, so look, I'm going to keep it, look, real simple, right? I just got my Pyrex. I got four cups of, you know, water, right? So I'll just add that first. You don't need all of the water like I used to put in there. You know what I mean? We're just going to start with our base right now, get everything melted. You know what I mean? So next thing we're going to do is add our one cup of kosher salt. Right? Now, I'm going to start, and I want to add my brown sugar. Hey, just as a little tip, if you guys can pick yourself up one of these, I'll put this down in the description box below so you guys can find out, you know, where to pick one of these up at. But look, this keeps your sugars and everything from clumping. See how soft and moist that is? Soak this in water. After you're done with that, shake it off, drop it in. It'll keep everything, you know, hydrated. Even bring back your hard brown sugar. Now, I'm gonna go with one cup. It's okay if it's heaping, that's good too. Don't forget the full printable recipe is on my website. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Hey, with that being said, let me get me something to, you know, mix this up with. All right, I'll just give it a little stir. I got it on high underneath, you know what I mean? Because we want to go ahead and, you know, get this to dissolve, right? And after that, then we just got a few more ingredients to add and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. So what I did was I added just a couple more cups of water in here because we just want to get, you know, our salt and we want to get our sugar to dissolve, right? Meanwhile, I'm still on, you know, I'm still on a high heat. I'm going to go ahead and add some cinnamon. I'm going to just add two sticks to it. About a tablespoon of uh, black, you know, peppercorns, right? Eh, it's okay. We doing this for the flavor too, folks. But it's the, it's the chemistry behind the salt being cold and, you know, putting it in the refrigerator and, you know, letting it just, you know, soak so that the salt can go in, take the moisture out, then it infuses it back over time, right? So I think now would be a great time for me to talk about, we probably want to do this for a minimum of about 12 hours. You know, over, you know, 12 hours, 12 to 14 hours is great, you know, for this. Now, look, for that little bit of that smoky, rich flavor, you know what, we're going to go with the smoked paprika, right? And I'm looking at this, I don't know why I got it. Look, this was just about, you know, a tablespoon. Now we want to let everything blend. Now, I done got into some debates in my house about this right here, about should I smash these? Because I'm getting ready to put these in there, right? You know, I like to take the knife and I was doing that. But believe me, when you put this in here and it's hot and it's boiling, it's going to open up and release its flavors too. So if you guys want to go ahead and do that, I'm just giving you the tips. You're still going to get the same thing, the same results. Look at this color. And I got to let you know too, just the aromatic that comes up off of this. Wait till it start boiling. Okay, folks, look, I want to bring a little bit of awareness to this because sometimes we always buy these, like we'll buy rosemary, thyme, sage, things like that, you know, separately, right? But look, while I was looking, I ran across this. They got the poultry blend. You know what I mean? It's got all of it in there. So just go ahead and drop it in. Bring it back to a boil. Okay, so this is what you wanna do. I'm gonna let this go for maybe about like 10 minutes or whatever. I just wanna extract all of the flavors. You get everything to marry, you know, marry together. Let me go ahead and just bring this down just a little bit. Then of course we got a top, right? So I'm gonna put this on top. Like I said, 10 minutes, then I'll show you the last step. Okay, so here we go. Look at this, this is nice. And I, I'll be glad when they come up with smell of vision because look, the aromatic that comes off of this, it says like, to me, it give you the holiday vibes, you know what I mean? But it give you that, 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 that summertime, that cookout. This right here is it right here. So turn everything off. We're gonna let it sit like that. Now I'm gonna come over here where I'm gonna add some ice to it. What I'm gonna do is add some ice, a little water to it because we wanna cool that down. We don't wanna put our, our uh, chicken inside of this and we don't wanna cook it, right? So we want it to be cold. So I'm gonna go ahead, just bring this here. I just took my regular ice right out of the uh, refrigerator and I'm gonna go ahead and you can let it cool, you know, a little bit more than this, but I got enough ice to get this down. So just start adding it now, All right? Okay, so here's my bird, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just set it inside. 
let it fill up the back so it doesn't fill up, right? And I'm gonna let it rest. Let me go ahead and take these off. You wanna be careful here because it's gonna kinda of like fill up the whole thing, right? So I'm probably gonna do this because it, actually my Dutch oven is not quite big enough, right? And we can only put so much in here, All right? But we'll do it like this. I'll probably do this a little later on, about halfway through, maybe this evening. What I'll do is I'll take it and just, you know, turn them over. Super simple. Now I'm gonna put this lid on the top. I'm gonna put this inside of the uh, refrigerator. And then you know what? When it comes out, we are gonna pat it dry. And then listen, here's the beauty of it. You guys can do it any type of way you want to. You can do it, you know, once you take it out, you pat it dry, you still wanna hit it with a little seasoning, right? So if you wanna put it in the oven, that's okay. You wanna do it outside on your smoker, that's okay. Or if you got any other method, like sometimes you might even just wanna just do the rotisserie thing. But however you do it, I promise you, this is the one for you. Okay, so listen, don't forget, you guys got multiple ways of doing it. We gotta season it. I don't care how you do it, rotisserie, smoke, or in the oven. Either way, this is gonna guarantee that you have a juicy, flavorful chicken. And with that being said, you know what? It's to the refrigerator, and I'll see you when I go ahead and make it. Mm.